We knew a solution was needed for health departments to make more use of rich sets of data that they already had, but they couldn't extract knowledge from. So we came together to identify how we could do this and at an IET dinner identified an SME that had the solution that we needed. So we worked along with that company and the policymakers then to move forward to collaborate on a larger application. MIDAS is intended to solve a very specific problem. All health services have a lot of information on various different computer systems, but it can be very difficult to pull that together because it's stored in many different systems. MIDAS is a toolkit that's intended to pull this information together and present it in a way that makes sense, really to managers and policy makers in the health services. Within MIDAS, we provide the platform that helps integrate the data behind the analytics at the front end. Our feeding into the process was essentially to help support that from the outset and explaining how we would do the data integration and the data virtualization and how we could help link these diverse data sources together in a way that actually would allow us to perform the analytics that would be needed to really get meaning from the data to help policymakers make decisions. This is not pie in the sky or blue skies research. We're talking about using healthcare data in a way that helps policymakers improve decisions around making healthcare policy. So it's something that influences and impacts impacts all of us, not just here at home, but again across Europe and across the world. If there's anywhere we need to see data-driven decisions, it should be within healthcare. Intertrade Ireland, we're very key at the very early stages. One of the difficulties is making sure that you have the right consortium members with the right skill set involved in the project and designing um, the application. And Intertrade Ireland were vital in making the links between ourselves and our partners in the south of Ireland. A lot of our work is collaborative work and we have quite a few collaborations between ourselves and colleagues in the north and it's very useful because we have very similar cultures, we understand each other but our healthcare systems are quite different. I think together we are much stronger than we are separately as partners or leaders in these large European projects. The added value of the health departments is that we can now compare and share ideas very closely around border regions. So it's that connection, that uniqueness and that closeness allow us to expand the projects somewhat more. I think collaborative projects like those funded by Horizon 2020 can be hugely beneficial to SMEs. Not just from the fact that we get grant funding that supports a lot of our development work, but it's also the network that you join. Um, we have developed very close bonds with the partners involved in the projects, not just here in Northern Ireland, but also the Republic of Ireland and further afield across Europe. Horizon 2020 projects and securing Horizon 2020 money is very prestigious for any university or any institution. And to have that impact on policy and healthcare policy at the stage where we are, it's a key vital time for us to be applying the skill sets and the research that we have and to show where our strengths are and how we can help resolve issues across Europe particularly um, and bringing in that impact for the university.